everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing amazing this morning happy april and so we'll be getting straight into what is going on across the uh atlantic basin with focus being on the caribbean however as you can see there's a lot going on in parts of the u.s and a lot is likely to unfold as we head into later this evening so there's going to be that threat of tornadoes some of which could be strong large to very large hail and even those damaging winds across sections of the southern plains the ozarks uh, sections of the ohio valley and into a small part of the mid atlantic so i really hope that everyone who's currently being affected and who's to be affected will be okay please uh, keep up to date with what is going on with your local weather service now let's get straight into what's happening for the caribbean region much isn't going on right now there are a few cloud clusters loitering around here and there and we've also got that flow of activity coming in from the southwest so we can see that the upper air flow and that is going to be helping to influence the rainfall for trinidad today and some areas may even experience some increased rainfall activity so i'm going to get to the rainfall uh, forecast in a moment but as i said elsewhere much not going on just a few cloud clusters moving by so this is a look at what euro is forecasting as it relates to rainfall activity today so the more colorful this map becomes the more rainfall is expected. So uh, for much of the Florida Peninsula, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, most of Hispaniola, Cuba, uh, maybe even the Cayman Islands and much of Central America, substantial rainfall activity is not expected. A few showers may loiter around portions of Jamaica, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, Lesser Antilles, uh, maybe even near the ABC Islands, but things will likely be on the drier side for the most part. Same story for San Andreas, Providencia over there. But as we head to the vicinity of South America, it gets a lot more colorful. So it's going to be a lot more active there, even for Trinidad. Hopefully it comes to fruition where there is some in, uh, substantial rainfall because it's been very hot. It's been very dry uh, for those areas experiencing any drought conditions right now. Right now, uh, some substantial rainfall would really help out with that. So hopefully it comes to fruition, but uh, models are consistent about it. I believe the GFS is showing a little bit more rain compared to Euro. So hopefully it comes to fruition. For Colombia, Venezuela, parts of the Guyana is likely to experience some heavy rain and thunderstorms later today. So uh, some of that moisture is going to be pushing into the vicinity of Trinidad and thus may allow for an increase in rainfall in some areas. So that's what's going on, guys. And as we take a look at the GFS simulated infrared satellite imagery, there we can also see that happening, all that activity coming in from South America and uh, potentially even for uh, other parts of the Lesser Antilles later in the week. But of course, I'll be keeping you posted on that. Now, as it relates to the winds, it's been very windy across the Caribbean. Why? Because there's an area of high pressure to the north and an airflow pressure that sits over northern Colombia. So the interaction between them both results in those stronger winds pulsing across the region at times, especially just offshore Colombia. So some of those wind gusts today could be well over 40, going up to 50 miles per hour and elsewhere across the region it is likely to be windy the greater antilles offshore central america especially for the uh the bay islands of honduras right there in the keys of belize so just offshore in that region likely to be windy the central caribbean the lesser antilles abc islands as well it's going to be another windy day today now as it relates to the wave heights uh not very crazy today a little bit more active offshore colombia and offshore the northeastern islands of the Caribbean, but elsewhere should be generally tranquil, anywhere from around below a foot up to maybe around four or five feet in wave heights out there within the vicinity of the Caribbean. And so guys, that is what is happening right now. And uh, I really hope that you found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.